Good morning. I'm so excited to make this video right now and you will see why in just a second. It's a beautiful morning here in Baltimore. It's actually very cold, definitely below freezing, which is rare here. And it's sunny and gorgeous. I haven't been outside yet because I'm just having my breakfast. Got my smoothie here, which has a lot of spinach in it. So if I'm drinking it during this video and you see spinach on my teeth, just don't laugh too hard, okay guys? Okie dokie. So this is a big announcement. You all know the Sari Scarves. You all know the story of the Sari Scarves, how Andrea found a Sari Scarf in a thrift store about like three years back. Didn't know what it was, didn't know what to do with it, bought it on a whim, and then realized it made the most tichel, amazing tichel ever. And then I made a video featuring it, and everyone was like, where did you get that? And I was like, I don't know. And then we had to go through this whole thing, trying to figure out to make, find someone that would make it. And now we have a wonderful seamstress that lives in India that makes them for us. It's a whole wonderful story. And now we have sari scarves. Look at the sari scarf. They're so beautiful. It looks like you're wearing 10 scarves at once. So this is in the sari scarf that we had for you up until now. It has 10 strips of fabric on it. It looks fabulous. It's beautiful. You can actually use it to cover your whole head if you want. Um, and it's wonderful. Well, this is, you know, the classic sari scarf. But lately, we've been thinking that we wanted to do something else with the sari scarf. And that is experiment. We didn't know if it was going to work or not, but actually it did work. Experiment with making something smaller, not 10 strips of fabric, but five. And we have for you, it's called, we call it the sari sash. Now, these are much easier to use than the original sari scarves because they're just not as bulky. The only thing is that you can't do a full head wrap with it. It's really a sash and you can't use it to um, cover the back of your head like you can with the 10 strip one. But I'm just gonna demonstrate, I've been wearing them pretty much every day. Um, for the last couple of weeks when we've been experimenting. We made a, an order of only a couple of them and just to see if they would work. And then we were so blown away that we had to get more before we put them online. So we weren't going to make the announcement until we actually had enough for you. So what I have here is I just have a basic um, pashmina on tied at the back with the two ends hanging evenly. Again, you can use these sashes in many different ways to wrap in so many different ways, but this is the basic one that I've been wearing. This is Rivka Malka's teal in the um, in the pashmina. It's funny actually. Lately, I've been wearing Rivka Malka's teal more than I've been wearing Andrea's teal, but that's okay. We can share. And so I'm just gonna. What I do is I just do it one side longer, one side shorter, and I tie it at the back. It's very nice to have a swivel chair so I can show this to you. Wait. Oh my goodness! I forgot one essential step. I'm sorry. Good morning. Um, I'm going to actually wrap this around first just to because I only want to have one end of the pashmina to layer with. But if that doesn't feel familiar, I haven't done this before. Oh yeah, that's because I forgot to do this. There we go. I'm not really caring about what this looks like because it's going to be all covered by the sari sash. Okay, sari sash time. Okay, we ta already talked about this. One end shorter, one end longer. And see how it's much shorter, it's much less wide than the 10 strip, it's half the width. But it still gives you that look. And what we love about it is because of course you're gonna bring up another layer, it still makes you look sometimes like you're wearing 10 scarves, which is really cool. Okay, now I'm gonna bring up this end of the pashmina. I want that red peeking through. There we go. I'm just going to tuck it in right here. As you can see, right here, tucking in. Tuck, tuck, tuck. As Chagit says, tuck and pat. That is the secret. And we will fix any fringy ends at the end of this video. This is so beautiful. Yeah, I'm totally in love with these sari sashes. I don't know what I did before we had them. I wore the sari scarves, obviously, but these are just so special. Okay, now we've got our last long end of the sari sash. I'm bringing it up and around. 
And what I've actually been doing is just, it's very simple. I've just been tying it then to this end. So easy. You know, obviously I'm blabbing a lot in this video and it's taking long, but this really takes two minutes for me to do in the morning. And I'm take, I could leave, just leave this end down. I'm going to tuck it away in the back, but you really don't have to do that. I don't know really why I'm doing it, but why not? It's fun to do different things in every day. And just for a little extra pizzazz, I'm going to add this brand new rose headband, which I am just so into. This, this headband was such a surprise. I honestly, I'll be honest here, I did not like it when we first got it. When we looked at it in the package, I was like, oh, you know, roses, flowers, and a chain, not really into that. And then when we pulled it out, it was much, um, almost, I don't want to say heavier because it's not heavy at all, but it's much sturdier than what I expected. And then when I put it on, I realized like this can go on anything. Look how just it just on this particular tichel, it kind of blends in. It makes it look almost like the teal has this pattern, this sparkly pattern on it. Um, if I would have worked on just a plain tichel, it would just, you know, really, really, really beautify it. So I'm, I'm very into this. I'm very excited about this. And that's it. So these are the sari sashes. We're going to sell them in the same way that we sold the sari scarves. They are $15 because they're, you know, slightly smaller. Um, but you can really, you can do almost everything with them that you can do with the sari scarf, except cover the back of your head. And they are easier to work with. They're much easier to layer. So if you are a beginner and haven't actually tried a sari scarf yet, I would highly recommend starting with the sari sash and then graduating to the sari scarf. Okay. Oh, and I didn't even have my drink. Mm. You can get to see spinach on my teeth. Mm. Good. <laughs> anyway, bye everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye bye.